The California High-Speed Rail program isn't just about constructing the nation's first high-speed rail line. It's also about improving connectivity around the state, including in Southern California. If you're a transit rider, this project means everything. Gary Baker is overseeing LA Metro's regional connector transit project. The more than $1.75 billion project is being partially funded by nearly $115 million provided by high-speed rail and Proposition 1A connectivity funds. This project will increase the uh, connections uh, between Union Station, the future home of high-speed rail, the Gold Line, and the Blue Line, and the Expo Line, which take passengers throughout L.A. County. Down below, we have started our first tunnel. Using a 400-foot-long tunnel boring machine, Metro is drilling and constructing a nearly two-mile-long light rail system connecting the existing Gold Line to the 7th Street Metro Center. The regional connector project is going to split the gold line into two separate lines. So what does this mean exactly? Riders taking the current gold line from Azusa now have to change trains to continue south to Long Beach. With this change, that becomes a one-seat ride on the blue line, while a ride from Santa Monica to East LA becomes a one-seat ride on the gold line. Essentially, this makes traveling north and south, or east and west, easier. The project also includes three new stations at 2nd and Hope, 2nd and Broadway, and right here in the little Tokyo district at 1st and Central. The uh, rail will be underground uh, here as we enter underneath the street and enter the new little Tokyo station. So what's the benefit to Metro and its riders? Baker says it will not only create greater connectivity to downtown Los Angeles and partnering transportation agencies like High Speed Rail, it will save passengers 20 minutes on their commute and increase overall ridership on Metro by 17,000 people per day. The first tunnel for the regional connector project will be finished later this year. That's when the tunnel boring machine will be moved back to the start to begin work on the second tunnel with completion expected early next year. Work that is all being aided by high-speed rails connectivity funding. Metro is very appreciative of the $115 million of funding that the High-Speed Rail Authority provided for the Regional Connector Project. 